This is the Genmitsu 4040 Pro Max CNC, a user-friendly desktop CNC designed for both novice and experienced users. In this sponsored review, we'll be taking a look at the specs and features of the Genmitsu 4040 Pro Max and putting it to the test with a variety of materials. So, let's get started! Welcome back to Space Age Tech, where we look at the tech that pushes the limits. Let's start by unboxing our 4040 Pro Max. Everything we need to get started comes in this one box. It's mostly pre-assembled and should take only about an hour to put together. The frame is all aluminum for stability and rigidity, and it weighs about 54.2 pounds. There are a few improvements over other Genmitsu models. The Z-axis is upgraded to a lead screw and guide rail structure, and the X-axis benefits from a linear guide rail, optical shaft, and a lead screw for increased reliability and strength. In this top part, we have our axis rails. We'll lay them all out and take a closer look on the next section. We have two support blocks, one for each side of the x-axis. This is our screw and tool kit. Inside we also have our carving router bit set, an upgraded LED C-Prov kit, work clamps, collets, and our spare limit switches. We have our XC module. This is where we'll attach our spindle later on. The head moves up and down depending on the depth of the engraving or the thickness of the material. This model features a 710 watt compact router kit. This 710 watt spindle should give us some clean results in tough materials like aluminum. And here we have our 65 millimeter spindle motor mount. Here we have our power adapter and power cable. We can have a maximum depth of 3.1 inches. We also have our two Y axis. These control the movement of the machine horizontally. On the left hand side, we're going to have our controller box. In the controller, we have our USB connectors and the ability to connect our offline or Wi-Fi controller as well. Included is a two piece MDF spoil board for the platform. And that is all for our out of the box contents. Let's take a look at the accessories we'll be using with the machine. First, we have the mini vise toe clamps. This will help us secure the materials from the sides, leaving the full surface available for engraving. The kit does come with basic clamps. They pin down the material, but in doing so, they obstruct some of the engraving area. So you run the risk of bumping into your bit and breaking it. Our second accessory is the Genmitsu Wireless Control Kit. This kit hooks onto your controller and enables you to effortlessly control your CNC machine remotely using your smartphone. We'll take a look at the Genmitsu app later in this review. And finally, we have two sets of bits. And we have a 1 8 inch shank 10 piece carbide spiral O flute. These features a nano blue coating for enhanced hardness. We have the 10 piece nano blue coat and male CNC router bits. These are from 1.5 millimeters to 3.175 millimeters and 1 8 inch shank. As you can see, the machine does come with starter bits, but as we dial in the settings for the materials and the projects we want to produce, we'll need more variety of bits. Let's take a look at how the clamps actually work. First, we'll secure one of the clamps on the perforated holes on the spoil board. Then we'll align our material and place a second clamp on the opposite side. To secure the material in place, we'll simply tighten the clamps from the side as you see here. Let's install our dust shoe. We'll need this to keep our work area free of debris. 
Otherwise, shaving from our material can interfere with the quality of our end product. This is very easy to install. We'll simply have to slide the attachment onto the C-axis module and secure it. Once we secure and tighten our attachment, we're going to just snap on our boot. The last step is to connect our vacuum hose to the open end of the dust boot. And we'll be ready to go. This is our completed setup. Our total work area is 15.75 inches by 15.75 inches and it supports a thickness of 3.1 inch. This desktop CNC takes up a total space of 26.98 inches by 26.22 inches and it's 15.35 inches tall. So it's very easy to place in any corner of your shop. For our test, we'll be using the Genmitsu app available for both iPhone and Android devices. We'll need it to control our Genmitsu 4040 Pro Max wirelessly. Not only does it control the machine itself, but it helps us to load the files that we want to execute. To design the projects that you'll see today, we used Fusion 360. Then we uploaded the job to the app. You can use other CAD or CAM software to your preference, like Carveco or Easel. And now we're ready to begin our test. We'll be testing not only different materials, but different levels of complexity as well. This will give us a good idea of what the Denmitsu 4040 Pro Max can do. And since these are our first tests, we're going to keep it simple. We'll only be using two of the old flute spiral end mills. We'll use a 1mm diameter bit as well as a 3.175mm diameter bit. For our first project, we'll try carving the surface of the moon in this 2 inch by 1 inch acrylic block. This is a small but intricate project that will allow us to see the level of detail we can expect. The total runtime was around 15 minutes. The maximum speed for the 4040 Pro Max is 2000 millimeters per minute. And it was worth the wait. Here you can see our result up close. We were able to capture in great detail the dips and valleys of the moon's surface. And we're off to a great start. Now let's try an acrylic coin holder. Here you can see the file we'll be loading next. We are using the wireless control module we installed on the machine paired with the Genmitsu app. This will be a coin holder. We'll be using a 4x4 and 1 inch thick acrylic block. With the Genmitsu app, we're able to see the settings, adjust them, and start or stop the job. If all goes well, we'll use this coin holder to help us secure challenge coins so we can engrave those on our next test. We'll need a tight fit to ensure stability of the coin when it gets engraved. The total runtime for this job ended up being around an hour. And here's our completed challenge coin holder. The finish is not as smooth as our moon test, but it doesn't have to be for this purpose. The accuracy is more important. So this is the moment of truth. Let's see if our coin fits. So here we go. It looks like it's a very tight and secure fit. Now we can use the holder to engrave the coin. We'll engrave space age on this coin. Let's take a look at the result. This is a much harder material. And as you could see from the engraving clip, we are getting some vibration on the work table. This translates to the imperfections we're seeing. For our next test, we'll try this 3 inch thick EVA film. As you can see, we were able to engrave pretty deep, but we got a lot of tear out. Perhaps a different bit might help, but for now we are going to conclude that this is not an ideal material. Let's move on to 2 inch thick cork. And because cork is composed of tiny bits and pieces, we expected somewhat the same result as the EVA foam. But as you can see, we were pleasantly surprised on how smooth this carving resulted. 
Perhaps just one more finishing pass would make it perfect. We'll move on to 3 mm thick carbon fiber. And what we made here is a mounting plate. This was a very nice result, very accurate and precise. For our next test, we're trying a graphite block. Graphite has many applications, but it's notably used for metal casting. So we're trying to make a mold that we can then use to cast metal parts. This is where the running accuracy of 0.1 millimeter should help us. This is our finished mold. Let's take a closer look. The carving turned out excellent and now it can be used for metal casting. Next we'll try a different metal, this is pure copper. This material is harder than aluminum, so let's see how far we can get. We would usually use a coolant for this type of material. And unfortunately our bit broke so we were not able to complete this test. Although we were able to mark on this material, we need to refine our settings and perhaps try a different bit. For our next test, we'll be trying the same design but this time on an aluminum sheet. Again, we don't have a coolant to keep the temperature stable and prevent unnecessary wear on the bit. This is where our 710 watt compact router bit will help us get a clean result. So luckily we didn't get any broken bits and were able to finish the engraving. And this is our final result. As you can see we were able to complete the job. There might be a little bit more room for improvement but these results are excellent. Now that we are on a high note, let's see what it can do with titanium. We'll try to do a pendant type shape so we can test out if we can actually cut through this material. This is a pretty hard material and due to the vibration on the work table, the pin from the clamp fell off. However, our job did complete and did not fail. It cut through cleanly all the way. Now let's try some California redwood. We'll be carving a terrain map of the state of California. This wood is not necessarily hard, but the design is very intricate, so we crossed our fingers the whole way. And it really paid out. Look at all the detail in the mountains, ridges, valleys, everything we have in our beautiful state. It really came to life. And since we have a little piece left on our California redwood, we thought we'd engrave a Celtic knot design. This is a beautiful design and it came out just perfect. And the possibilities are endless. Today we tried a little bit of everything from acrylic to wood to metal. And we got consistently good results. This is really good for a desktop CNC. So what did you think? Let us know in the comments below. Those are all our tests with the Genmitsu 4040 Pro Max. Most importantly, we love the performance with almost all the materials. It was easy to put together, easy to operate, and easy to fit in any corner of our shop. If you're a novice or need a small machine, the Genmitsu 4040 Pro Max might just be for you. If you're ready to get yours, see the links in the description. We'll be reviewing this and other amazing technology in our upcoming videos. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow.